Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm walking up the drive of the Vash Estate, which is a country estate near Chalfont St Giles in Buckinghamshire. We've already been and looked around Chalfont St Giles Village Centre when I did my Misborn series, so have a look on screen now. There's a link to that video where I explore the village centre. So today we've come up here to the Vash Estate. Most of the estate is private, but there's one bit up here you're allowed to go and see. So. I'll give you a bit of history of the estate. In the 1660s, it was home to the Fleetwood family. And George Fleetwood, he was found guilty of regicide against King Charles I, and he was sentenced to death. Now, he um, was spared the death sentence, but all of his estate was confiscated from him. And it was given to the Duke of York, who was the future King James II. Now, so that's the 1600s. Then in the 1700s, the next bit of more interesting history comes along. That was where Admiral Sir Hugh Pallister lived on the estate. Now he was a friend of the explorer Captain James Cook. Now Captain James Cook came to visit Admiral Sir Hugh Pallister on this estate many times. And then when eventually Captain James Cook passed away, Admiral Sir Hugh Pallister decided to build a monument to him on this estate and it's that that we're coming to see. So what we're going to do, we follow the footpath up the drive up here, when we get up here soon there's a path that goes off, takes us round the back of the house. The house is still here um, but it is all private so we might be able to see some bit in the distance but we're not going to look at the house. I do remember, when would it have been, in the late 1990s? A company called Martin Grant Homes built a courtyard of houses, three and four bedroom houses. And I remember we came here to look at the show house when I was a child. So I have been into the estate as a child and I've come here a few times to see the Captain Cook monument because it's a really um, spectacular monument. And um, that's why I thought I'd make this video and let you see it. So as we come up here, in a minute there's a gate we're going to go up down down the little footpath and uh, soon we shall find the Captain Cook monument. So I've just come through the gate so it says Captain Cook's monument so we're going to follow a little path and uh, we're going to go and find it so I'm really quite excited about showing this to you it's um, like I say it's a really spectacular monument so I'm now going to follow the footpath down here uh, it takes some um, about five to ten minutes so I'll show you the monument or the end of the footpath to monument when we get a bit closer. I'm really quite enjoying this walk up through the estates I've gone. It goes round the back of some of the outbuildings this path and now we're more out in the wider estate in the parkland and um, we're very nearly at the Captain Cook Memorial. So the path comes up to here and uh, where is it? Yeah, we're, we're nearly there. It's just, just behind these trees. I have to say, I think this is one of the most impressive and exciting monuments I've ever seen to anyone. Um, just you wait till you see it. It begins to reveal itself through the bushes and the trees. Here it is in front of us. Now, of course, Captain Cook, um, he did a lot of sailing. So um, he sailed all around the world. So I suppose one thing that's appropriate is... Um, for the monument to be on an island. So they've created this little island, and there's the monument up there. So uh, this pond circles the whole of the monument. There's a little bridge which we're gonna cross. We're gonna go up to see the monument. Over there, that's the Vash house. That's the closest we can get to it. So let's go up and have a look inside. So, I mean, it's a monument, but it's also a folly, a folly, you know, being a small sham castle. I, I just think this is, this is brilliant. I've always enjoyed, you know, follies. Um, I love how the fact they're not actual castles, but they're built to look like a castle. So here we are. So we come up inside this post here. I won't show all of you, um, but it shows a story of Captain Cook's life. So it's all written in Old English, so I'm, I'm not going to read it out, but it's worth having a look at. Um, to the memory of Captain James Cook. So here we are, up here on this little island, 
looking out into the yew trees one way and um, you get quite a nice view that way went to the vash but of course the most exciting thing is you can go up on the roof so let's do that you know you just i just love things like this where you can you know go up up these little steps and onto roofs and in, enjoy the views it's, it's really exciting so we come out here here we are on the roof of the captain cook memorial where we get really nice views over the Vash estate so there's the house down there you can see the parkland around us it's a really lovely place it's um yeah i just i just really like um estates and parkland and i just love it when they have follies and temples or anything on them but the fact this is a memorial to a historic figure and uh, you can come and enjoy it is what i really like i suppose that would have been one of the farms on the estate once so um I'm just going to let you enjoy the view as well, again. So if you're ever in Chalfont St Giles, it's not too far to walk to from the village centre. The village centre obviously has Milton's Cottage. It was where the um, Dad's Army film was filmed, the original one. It's a really lovely village centre. It's not too far to walk up the hill to here. So why not come to Charles and Giles, have a day out, visit Milton's Cottage and walk up here to the Captain Cook Memorial. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from on the roof of the Captain Cook Memorial. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.